to quickly design, manage, and timely deliver content across platforms, employees rely on brand portals to securely share and access approved digital assets which are compliant and consistent with their company's brand. Using Oracle content, we created the brand portal templates that customers can use as a base to build their own brand portal site that supports a wide range of digital asset management use cases and requirements. This template provides features such as a navigable asset hub, where users can search and filter for, for assets. In addition, they have the ability to preview, share, and download individual assets if they'd like. What's exciting is that this template relies on Oracle content new digital asset types, which enable customers to use and deliver digital assets without the need to wrap them in a content type. Coffee Supremo is a fictitious American company and coffee house chain with store locations worldwide. Their goals are to enable the distribution of the company's brand related assets and to centralize brand asset discovery and management while ensuring brand consistency across channels. Let me give you a walkthrough demo of Cafe Supremo's brand portal built using Oracle content. Let's see how an employee of Cafe Supremo will view the brand portal. First, the top section of the landing page highlights various asset collections available on the brand portal, which visitors can access by clicking on a card. All these cards are custom components that can be easily replaced with other collections by an admin. And this could be done in just few clicks. Here, the featured section is also customizable and highlights some other assets that are available in the site. Next, we can go to the assets page, which lists all the assets that are available in the portal. First, you can see the sidebar that allows users to filter assets by different file types. When a user hovers over the card, as you can see, they can share the asset if they'd like, download it, or click here to preview it as well or anywhere in the card. We'll come back to previewing the assets in a bit, now, let's have a look at the library page. Similar to the file explorer, user can navigate between collections of assets in the brand portal. So for example, here we have three collections, brand guidelines, document library, and media library. These folders are essentially taxonomy categories on Oracle content. New categories can be easily added by the site admin, which we'll demo in a bit. Now, let's preview the asset on the preview page. You can see on the sidebar the metadata associated with the asset from the title to date, as well as other collections that this asset might belong to. Users can show or hide the sidebar using the info icon here. In addition, they can download, share, and request changes to the asset. Users can also use the breadcrumb to navigate to the parent collection that the asset belongs to and navigate through the library. Now, let's say that we're looking for a particular press release on the brand portal. First, we'll click on the search icon on the menu and type the keyword press in the search field. As you can see, a preview of the results appears. We can click on one of them directly to preview the asset or click on the collection name to view all the assets that exist there as well. Alternatively, I can press enter or return to view all the results that match my keyword search on the brand portal displayed on the assets page. Now, let me walk you through how as an admin, I can add assets to the brand portal. First, let's go to content and access taxonomies and select the taxonomy BP categories listed here. Now, 
Let's create a demo collection and let's call it Banner Images. Let's click Done, promote the taxonomy, and publish it now. Next, we'll go to the Brand Portal repository in Assets. We'll upload a couple of images, fill out the asset name and description, and add them to the collection banner images we just created. And finally, let's assign the channel to Cafe Supremo Brand Portal, click Done, and publish the assets. Now, let's check out the assets on the brand portal in the library page. As you can see, this is the collection we just created, and here are the assets we added. That's it for our demo. I hope you found this walkthrough useful. Please don't hesitate to share any positive or constructive feedback you have. Thanks for watching.